Thank you, Mark. Felony vandalism, perhaps domestic terrorism. Those are the potential charges for the person who has been firing indiscriminately at a Portland water tower, causing tens of thousands of dollars in damages. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Bilgis. News 2's Andy Cordan is investigating the case in a story you're seeing first on News 2. Since the beginning of the year, city officials tell me that somebody has fired as many as nine bullets at this water tower on Highway 52 East. At least three bullets have penetrated the metal. This is the water tower on Highway 52 East in Portland. And these are close-up pictures of just some of the nine bullet holes discovered in the quarter-inch thick metal since the start of the year. I would say they're about the size of the end of your finger, the end of your pinky finger. According to Utilities Director Brian Price, at least three bullets from a high-velocity rifle penetrated the water tower, causing a pressure drop in the half a million gallon tank. And we were having a hard time filling one of our water tanks, and so we started trying to find where a leak was coming from. We went to the water tank and noticed uh, three areas where water was coming out of the side of the tank. According to Price, up till now, workers have been able to patch the holes in the tank that serves about 5,000 customers. And thankfully, there have been no disruptions in service or any contamination issues. But because the damage is now so severe and the welding affecting the coating inside the tank starting next week, the water tower will go offline and close to 400,000 gallons of water will be drained. So the city can make substantial repairs that could cost upwards of $100,000. We have uh, interconnections with other municipalities around us. We're very fortunate with that. Uh, we are fortunate that we think we can be able to handle this without anybody noticing any major interruptions. There may be some lower pressures in areas, but we do believe we'll be able to handle that. According to investigators, the vandalism began in 2022 when someone firing a high-capacity rifle from the nearby neighborhood made the tank a target. And now in the first weeks of 2024, it's only intensified. We're looking at anywhere from $60,000 to $100,000 in damage. Uh, it's going to be a pretty significant felony. And depending on the, the reason for the vandalism, it could go up to domestic terrorism. Do you know who did this? It could be worth your while. City officials tell me they're offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to a successful prosecution. In Portland, Andy Cordan, News 2.